One of the most legendary players in hockey history is without a doubt Czech native Jaromir Jager. From 1990 to 2018, Jager played for nine different NHL franchises and racked up over 1,700 games in the best league in the world. During his prime, Jaromir was one of the most dominant forces the game had ever seen. He's also top five all time in NHL games played, goals, assists, and points, proving that he's one of the game's best to ever do it. Part of what makes Jager such a legend cannot be explained only by statistics and show why there's reason to wonder whether or not Jager really is a human. So here are five stories and reasons that prove Jaromir Jager is not human. At 6 foot 3 and 230 pounds during his NHL career, Jager was clearly a physical specimen, which made him an absolute force on the ice. But one of the main reasons why he was so strong and protected the puck so well was because he outworked pretty much everybody off the ice. Starting at around 7 years of age, Yarmir reportedly did 1,000 squats a day. He would do this throughout his childhood and even at times throughout his NHL career, explaining why he had such a strong lower body. And while former teammates would say Yogs didn't always go 100% in practice, it was because oftentimes after practices, he would come back to the arena and training facilities to work out and skate by himself. Former teammate of Yager when he was playing in Philadelphia, Jacob Voracek, told a story about when he was neighbors with Yager and how one time when Voracek and another teammate were coming back from a bar at 3 a.m. with an off day the next day, he saw Yarmir in workout gear getting ready to go for a run. Yager at this time was almost 40 years old and Voracek in his early 20s. Yager was famous for doing these types of things and working out at any point he could, which just shows how dedicated he was to his craft and was maybe the reason he was able to play for so long in the NHL. The other amazing thing about him was that when he would go skate at these random times, he would throw on a weighted jacket and weights around his ankles to get an even better workout and work those muscles even harder. One of the reasons he worked extra hard at times was because he was a big fan of sweets and admitted that he didn't always have the best diet. So he realized that he had to put in those extra hours to maintain his elite level of play and to keep himself in the best shape he could possibly be in. Starting his NHL career in the 1990-91 season with the Pittsburgh Penguins, not many would have guessed that Yager would still be playing in the NHL in 2017. This guy played through almost three full decades in the best league in the world. And if he didn't play three seasons in the KHL from 2008 to 2011, he would easily be the NHL's all-time most games played leader and would likely be even higher among the goals, points, and assists leaders. Yager played a game in the NHL as a 45, almost 46-year-old. And the only guys to play at an older age were Chris Chelios, who was 48, and Mr. Hockey himself, Gordy Howe, who played while he was 52 with the Hartford Whalers in 1980. In the 2013-14 season with New Jersey, Yager led the Devils in scoring with 67 points as a 41-year-old. And during the 2015-16 season with Florida, Yager led the Panthers in scoring with 66 points as a 43-year-old. Yager is now 50 years old, and although it doesn't appear that he's playing this year, he did play last season in the Czech League for his hometown Kladno Knights and played in 43 games. Although Yager played through a couple different eras of NHL hockey and the game changed a huge deal from when he started his career to the end, a lot of his prime years being a professional were during some low scoring eras, especially in the early 2000s. And although most of the 1990s consisted of high scoring hockey, it was difficult as a big player because referees would officiate the game differently for bigger guys and opposing teams could hack and slash away because the game was called way differently in that time. Yager won five R. Ross trophies during his NHL career, and all of them came in a seven-year stretch from the 1994-95 season to the 2001 season. In the 97-98 season, his 102 points were 11 more than the runner-up Peter Forsberg. In 1998-99, his 127 points were 20 more than the next best, Timo Solani. And in the 1999-2000 season, he won the Art Ross with 96 points despite playing in just 63 games. Although Yager didn't win any more scoring titles after being traded away from Pittsburgh in 2001, he would have another phenomenal season in 2005-06 with the New York Rangers as a 33-year-old. He would finish the year with 123 points, second only to Joe Thornton, 
but would win the Lester B. Pearson Award for League's Most Outstanding Player voted on by the NHL Players Association. Yager was clearly built to succeed in any era, which is why he found so much success throughout his entire career. Although Yaramir was clearly one of the best and most dominant players the NHL has ever seen, sometimes it seems like he almost doesn't get enough credit. The only players who won more scoring titles are Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, and Gordie Howe. And there are a couple seasons where if he would have stayed a little healthier, he probably would have won at least one or two more. Yager also helped his team win two Stanley Cups in his first two NHL seasons, and if not for some big-time playoff upsets, he could have definitely won a few more. In addition, he went to the Cup Finals in 2013 with Boston and played pretty well in a depth role at 40 years old. And although he was drafted 5th overall in 1990, he's far and away the best player to come out of that draft. And he's also top 5 in games played, goals, assists, and points, and is arguably one of the top 5 best hockey players ever. The elite combination of size and skill that Yager possessed was what made him one of the most special players in NHL history. There probably isn't a player in history that could protect the puck and be harder to take off the puck than Yager was in his heyday. And although he wasn't the fastest player on the ice, the fact that he was 6 foot 3, 230 pounds and had silky hands and scoring ability made him an extremely dangerous threat every time he stepped on the ice. When NHL players are asked to describe Yarmir Yager in one word, almost every one of them says the same thing. Legend. And whether it's the trademark long hair and mullet that Yager basically made famous for hockey players, the longevity of his career, or the iconic salute celebration that other NHL players have paid homage to numerous times over the years, Yager is truly one of a kind. He's also made an impact on the game that few others have and that will probably never be replicated again.